What defines innovation in 2025? According to the latest ranking by Visual Capitalist, based on Forbes dataset, the world's most innovative companies are a surprising mix of enterprise software, automotive, consumer services, and biotech. Leading the list is ServiceNow, followed by Workday and Salesforce. The list also includes heavyweights like Tesla and Amazon, companies you might expect. But it's the diversity of sectors that catches the eye. Biotech firms like Illumina and Asian innovators like Naver also make the top 25. Let's dive in. This ranking gives us three key takeaways. Number one, enterprise software is winning the innovation game. ServiceNow, Workday and Salesforce all claim top positions, showing that innovation isn't only about new consumer gadgets, but about transforming the workplace. Number two, cross-sector innovation is real. From Tesla's EV and autonomy push to Amazon's cloud and logistics expansion to Illumina's biotech breakthroughs, markets reward firms that can combine tech plus execution. Number three, innovation is increasingly global. While US firms dominate, names like Never in Korea reflect that innovation is spreading geographically, driven by data, local ecosystems, and AI models tailored to regional markets. But here's the catch. What the ranking measures is an innovation premium meaning the gap between what a company is worth today and what the market expects it to earn from future innovation. That means, in simple terms, investors are betting on future innovation, not just celebrating past success. The implication, investing heavily in innovation doesn't guarantee success. The real question becomes how those innovations are deployed, monetized and scaled. In my view, this ranking signals a shift in how we define and measure innovation. Innovation used to mean new product launch. Now it means new business model, plus new execution, plus new value. For creators, teams and professionals, that means your question isn't only what technology should we adopt, but how will that technology change our workflow, our revenue streams and our role? The companies at the top aren't just deploying AI or automation. They are redefining what work means. If you are building tomorrow's productivity stack, don't chase the next flashy tool. Chase the next capability. It's less about being innovative and more about being sustainably innovative. So here's the bottom line. The world's most innovative companies of 2025 aren't defined by their logo or sites. They are defined by their thinking, their scope and their execution. Innovation isn't the price. Innovation is the process. Technology never stands still and neither should we. If you found this episode useful, hit subscribe and check out my latest videos. And for more everyday stories, follow me on social media, link in description. See you in the next Tech Pulse. Ciao.